Hey guys, this is Pharaoh 2091 and welcome back to Let's Play Super Danganronpa 2. Last time we left off, I kind of fixed the technical issues I was having in a sense that I wasn't I couldn't able to examine anything, so I got that fixed and I learned more about the uh, elect electronic handbook that we have and all the stuff in it like the pets and whatever and we learned we met uh, one of the people um uh, Komada or Komeda, whatever. And uh, we're we're exploring a little bit. So I stopped right here in front of the airport, I believe. So let's go ahead uh, to the airport. I guess I'm just going to take this uh, right to... I'm just going to keep going right and whatever is there, I'm going to be going there. So this seems like the airport. This is an airport, isn't it? And are those airplanes? Does this mean we can fly off this island? Afraid not. Those things aren't going nowhere. I mean, they're not broken. If they were just broken, we'd be flying out of here uh, already, right? You know? So, what's the problem then? They're empty. Engine's gone. Simply not there. These jets? <laughs> they're props. The engines are missing? Is this the work of whoever brought us to this island? It must be whoever is operating this Usami. Or Usami. But, who is it? Why'd he bring us here? And how? The more I think about it, the more it becomes a mystery. Uh, let's see here. Ah, uh, didn't mean to start uh, talking shop when we just met. And since we have just met... Okay, so I, I, I tried being quiet there so I can try giving it a name, but I still couldn't even really understand it. Kazuchi, his name, uh, he says, Name's Kazuchi Suda. Super high school level mechanic. At your service! Yeah, Kazuchi Suda. Alright. And oh, apparently he's a voice actor of the Japanese uh, version of Virtue's Last Reward, a game that I would love to LP, but I cannot. Just like the title says, uh, Suda is a weapon, is a we weapon, is a wizard of the machines. He can fix, well, pretty much anything. So when he says that these planes are beyond repair, look, bad stuff happens to engines, yeah? Sometimes irreparable or bad stuff. Sad but true. This, though, a grounded plane, otherwise fine, completely missing engines? That's deliberate. Someone wants us to stay here. Yeah, well, this ain't natural, but I guess there's nothing we can't handle, right? Huh? Weren't you just saying... I mean, sure, we've been trapped here, but they aren't forcing us to do anything weird or dangerous, right? I mean, you read the rules, right? You know, in that electronic student handbook thing we got? They're under the guide section. Go ahead, take a look. Oh, okay. I do like the new style of the handbook. Alright. Rule number one. Access violence is forbidden on this island. Let's live peacefully and quietly together. Rule number two. Let's, ho let's gather hope shards by deepening our bonds with our friends. Rule three. Throwing garbage and damaging the environment is forbidden. Let's live in harmony with nature and this beautiful, on this beautiful island. And rule number four. The supervising teacher will not interfere directly with student activities unless any rules are broken. Okay then. See? They're all rules for keeping order. Like any other field trip, really. No violence, harmony with nature, peaceful, quiet days. It's like Usami said. The rules in this guide look like they're, uh, they're there simply to protect this place, to protect the peace. But do you really trust Usami that easily? None of us have consented to this. She basically kidnapped us. Uh, that's really a that's rather a pessimistic attitude, isn't it? Don't you think you should have more hope than that? A hopeful outlook is an indispensable part of the human condition. I say we take it easy and see how things play out. You know, until someone ha until something happens, just treat it like any other field trip. <laughs> Even that weird bunny is kind of cute once you get a good look at her. It must be nice to be able to take this so lightly. I'm actually a little bit jealous. I got another hope shard. Hmm. And once we have a hope shard, we can check their... Oh. So we have a hope shard regarding... Um... Suda here, so... Where is he on this thing? Okay. So as you can see there on the top right... Or like, you know, toward the top there, we have a hope shard... One piece of apparently uh, six. Okay then, let's see here. He's born June 29th. All the other stuff. Uh, he likes cola. He hates sugar-free stuff. 
And of course, we know he is a super uh, high school level mechanic. He looks... I don't know. Just by the looks of him, he looks evil. But you know what? I, from playing the first game, I... I don't know what to expect, so who knows. Um... Alright then, so let's see... Oh, there's actually someone else here. Did we... I don't think we have even spoken to this guy yet, so, um... Oops, I didn't... Well, I don't know what that says. So, I apologize, I'm gonna skip that. I wanna speak to you. Oh, there it is. Huh. Alright. Halt. You will come no closer if you value your life. What? Huh. <laughs> even so worn, you persist? Your courage, at least, is commendable. So beat it, then. What the hell? Is this guy for real? <laughs> Tell me, courageous one. Would you hear my name? Do you believe yourself worthy? I suppose I must admit, your show of bra bravado amused me somewhat. <laughs> Very well then, I must tell you my name. Pre prepare yourself. Okay. Before you stands Gundam Tanaka. Do not forget that name. When I rule the world, to do so will be death. Gundamu Tanaka. He apparently is the high school level animal breather. Breeder. Okay. Uh, and yeah, I know it says, uh, it says Gundamu or whatever, but it's, it's, he's pronouncing him like Gundam, I believe. Whatever. Rule the world. He's kidding, right? He wouldn't. He can't. Who would be serious about this? And now, courageous one, you will answer a question for me. Whose master are you? What? I suggest you answer promptly. With wh uh, with which species have you made bonds? Huh? Bonds? What are you talking about? Answer! Answer now, for I should destroy you before once you do. If you're gonna destroy me when I answer, then why should I? I think he's asking if you raised a pet. A pet? Um, not really. The only answer, the only animal I've ever had was this hermit crab that they gave us in elementary school. A crustacean? Foolish human. Your talent is uh, neg negligible. A level five at most. You are beneath me. Beneath? Yes, you are beneath me. You are garbage, trash, ref refuse. You are, um, you are lucky that I did, uh, I deign to continue to speak with you or whatever. You know my name, but have you have any idea who I am? I, Gundam Tanaka, was known and feared as the, uh, ruler of ice. The ascendant ruler of ice. Wait a second, what the, are those, how did you, yeah, I'm a little confused too. How, where do those things come out of anywhere, or oh, whatever. Behold, the uh, Tanaka Kingdom. By making my very body a home to my subjects, I have tamed their evil spirits. Uh, he's just like our very own Dr. Doolittle. Just what you expect from a super high school level animal breeder. Okay. This is odd. Hear what Mirage, Silver Falcon, and Jumpy, one of the four dark gods of destruction, has to say. Ooh, I'm so confused. Do not anger us. You should heed this warning, insignificant one. You will not find these four... Merciful. So, those animals are the four gods of destruction, apparently? Okay. <laughs> and yes, that's him laughing. Holy crap, he scares me. I got a hope shard, and I leveled up. Um, anyway, he may be a bit strange, but he's an unmatched genius when it comes to animals. He can tame anything, and he even managed to save some species that were on the verge of extinction. There's a rumor he can even talk to animals, but that's probably just a joke. Talking to animals, that's... crazy. Right? Then again, he raises the hamsters inside his muffler. Maybe... No, I will not dignify his, this thought if third a consideration. I think we know where the, uh, we were going with there. And, uh, well, let's take a look at a report card once again. Uh, see what we can find out about him. So, we got a uh, hope shard regarding um, Tanaka here. And, let's see, he likes born... Oh, wait, he was born December 2014th. Uh, likes the four gods 
of the, the four dark gods of the destruction, which I guess are those hamsters. He hates earthly existence. All right then. And of course, he's the high school level animal breeder. I'm thoroughly confused, but um, whatever. And I know there's some stuff to investigate here, but honestly, I I don't know what the hell they'll say. So I'm just assuming like, yeah, scared camera. What the crap's going on here? Um, he, he mentioned something about airplanes and. And I'm sure he's like, oh, another security monitor? What the hell is this doing here? So, yeah. Okay. I just checked them to see if I was going to get, like, uh, Monokuma medals from them. If it's here. Alright, so we're back in the first side. Oh, I was going to say, where the hell did I go? Uh, alright. Let's, uh, keep going to the next building to right here, which I believe was actually the, um, yeah, the Rocket Punch Market. This is gonna be interesting. Okay, in here, in the, in we go. So it's like a, it's a, my God, this island has everything. Not to say that the academy in the first game didn't have everything, but this is like awesome. It's a supermarket and a pretty big one at that. It looks just like what you expect to find in a resort island. I guess we are abroad after all. It looks like we don't have to worry about food and supplies, at least for now. What do you mean, at least for now? I, uh, well, it's just a figure of speech. Well, we don't even know if, if any of it is edible. What if it's all poisoned? You really do suspect everything, don't you, Hinata? Can you blame me? Under circumstances, can you really blame me? Look around you! The supermarket, it's massive! But there's no one here except us! Well, that can't be helped. Usami told us that it's an un uninhabited island, didn't she? Th that's not my point, I mean... Ugh. What's wrong? Nothing. It's just... Oh. A woman. A piercing gl a gaze pointed right at me. I could definitely feel it. Um, excuse me. Um, you see? Uh, uh I'm sorry! Why? Why is she crying? He not the did you do? That's no good, Hinata. You shouldn't make girls cry like that. I didn't do anything or even say anything. Ah, uh, so your name's uh, Hinata-san? Uh, uh, if it's all right with you, I'd like to remember it. Can I? Uh, of course. I, I don't mind. Mm -hmm. I was trying to hear her name there. My name is Mikan Sum Sumiki? Sum... Sumiki, I think, or is that? I don't. I don't think you pronounce the T. Um, I'm. I'm very pleased to meet you. So this is our uh, Sumiki. All right. She. Oh, she's apparently the high school level nurse. All right then. Um. Um. Uh, um. It's too much. My nerves. My mind's going completely blank. I thought I had a 5,000 ways this conversation could proceed, but I can't remember any! That's probably because you try to uh, cram 5,000 branches of conversation into your head. <laughs> In that case, take your time trying to remember them. We'll be waiting here. Don't worry about our time. We can wait as long as you need. <laughs> Isn't just putting more pressure on her? Uh, I don't think I'd get anywhere by asking her, so I, I guess I'll just hear from you. Who is this girl? Uh, Su uh Sumiki-san? Uh, she's a super high school level, uh, nurse. If, you if you're hurt, she's the one you, you want on your side. So you better be nice to her. It, it might just save your life. Just think, even a little cut could slowly get more and more infected until you die. All because, um... All because you, uh... Maybe because you offended her. Don't say that such Don't say it with such a big smile on your face. <laughs> oh, now she's smiling. I, I'm sorry. I laughed about asking for permission. I, I couldn't help it. It's been such a long time since I made new friends, and I was so happy. Oh, but you never said you agreed to be my friend. I'm so sorry for saying something so, um, impotent. I'd do anything this you say, so please don't hate me. That's no good, Hinata. You shouldn't make girls cry like that. But I... I give up. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So we got her hope shard. So um, let's find out just a little bit more about her by going to the report card. So Sumiki is actually where is she? Oh, she's right here. Uh, let's see here. Born May 12th. All the other measurements right there. She likes toilets and the smell of alcohol. Or maybe rubbing alcohol, I think. And she hates things that are too big. Hmm. Okay, then. I'll leave it at that. Now, let's, uh... Before we talk to that other lady, lady here, let's... Ooh, boy. Let's try investigating. Oh crap! No, no, no! I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. I, I was. I meant to. I didn't. I pressed X on accident there. Uh, let's see. This stand has military goods. Are those night vision goggles? Oh my God! Is that a freaking psycho mantis thing there? Wait a minute. Who made this? No. Can I? Uh, well, not maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'm just overanalyzing things or whatever. What supermarket would carry these things? Honestly, who knows? Yeah, that is kind of interesting. Um, surfboards! Surfboards? Not that I'm in the mood for water sports, but they're there. Cola! Gigantic bottles of cola. They're so big that they're ba basically guaranteed to go flat before you finish them, leaving you with gross, um, a gross taste. Yeah, I hate that. And, uh, let's see. What else? Oh! There's a little thing here. It's some kind of vending machine, but it doesn't look like it takes regular money. Instead, it takes some kind of special coins? Oh my god. So yeah, that definitely makes me wonder now, because that thing is called Mono Mall. Oh jeez, maybe Monokuma is here after all. Oh, whatever. Let's talk to her, and then I'll call this episode... Uh, I'll call it a, a day for this episode. Looking, 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 looking over here, looking, looking. Uh, what did she say? Look, it's... Hey, I don't know you! Um, hi, my name is uh, Hajami Hinata, and... Huh? What was that? Where's the energy, huh? Are you still asleep? That's not an introduction. This is an introduction. You ready? Let's go! Uh, yes, I'm confused. So, oh, she was saying her name over and over again. Ubi, wait, that's me, Ubiki Mioda. Mioda? Okay, this is Mioda. She's a super high school level light music club member. Whatever the hell that means. So, here you go. Hmm. Introduction over! This supermarket is something else, huh? Mm. They have hamburgers and ramen and chili beans and sausages and pasta and even melons! That's food that can satisfy Americans and Chinese and Mexicans and Germans and Italians! Even Yubari residents! And I guess Yubari is famous for the melons. Yuha! This is so exciting! Such a huge assortment of products, it's just so exciting! But being, uh, but being excited makes me so hungry! Ubiki, uh, Ubiki doesn't get her own body. Why does Ubiki get hungry when she's excited, huh? <laughs> the human body's mysterious, huh? <laughs> um, this slightly overwhelming person is our super high school level light music club member. She comes from a girls, girls only high school where she played guitar for a super popular girl band. I heard that their hit single, After School Poyoyon Hour, sold a million copies. Super popular girl band, Light Music Club. I think I heard about something like that before, somewhere. But I also heard she left the she left the band over creative differences. She's not pursuing a solo career. Creative differences? Are you intrigued? Whoa! Did you just hear us? U Ubiki or Ibiki is a musician after all. Just like Sherbert and Bach and Edison and Van Gogh and Pele, uh, Pele and uh, Senna, a gifted musician. I get, I get what you're saying, uh, that you got sensitive ears, but two-thirds of those people aren't, aren't even uh, musicians. Details, details! Oh, another hope shard. Alrighty, 
Let's take a look at her thing real quick, just to see if we can find out anything else about her. Maybe what she likes and dislikes. Why can't I find them? Here she is. So, um, born November 27, she likes taking walks, midday naps, and playing games. She hates boredom. That, I'm not surprised. Okay then, well, I think that's all there is to do at the supermarket. So we met those two people. And in the next episode, I'm actually going to continue on. Um, I'm going to my right here. And we will... Um, huh. I guess we'll just um, see who else is around here. Actually, real quick, let me just take a look at my map. Do I am, am I moving at all? Doesn't seem like it. Ah, whatever. In any case, um, yeah. Next episode, we'll continue on the new area and uh, see who else we're going to be meeting. So, as usual, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Super Danganronpa 2. I'll see you guys later.